What's up, fam? Hope y'all are doing good today. Guess what time it is? It's time for another Out of This World story from our space. Me, 34 male, discovered my wife, 34 female, of one year, to have hidden her multiple affairs and infertility for over three years since we've started dating. I met my wife in late 2017, and we had been inseparable since. Fast forward to late 2020, and we were officially married. For the past couple of months, we had even been trying to start a family, to have kids of our own. Since then, things have started to go downhill. Last couple of weeks, I got off work, walked to my car at the car park, and there, a man around my age was waiting for me. He shook my hand and introduced himself as Dave, not his real name, and he wanted to talk to me about my wife, Jill, also not her real name. I would have brushed him off had he not brought up my wife's full name. Her last name was a bit unusual, and most would have a hard time pronouncing it. Together, we went to a cafe near my workplace, and Dave sat me down and proceeded to destroy my world. He told me that he had been seeing my wife, Jill, for the past five years in an off and on relationship long before she'd met me, and the last time he had met up with her was around six months ago. This last bit of information struck a nerve. It was too coincidental, as at the time, I had been outstationed, stuck one state away over two weeks due to my company's business trip. I remembered this vividly as my country's government had coincidentally announced the ban of interstate travels while I was out. So I had to wait for the travel ban to lift before returning home. As if what he had told me then hadn't crushed me enough, Dave pulled out a manila file and handed it to me. Inside were the snapshots of his WhatsApp, Facebook, and even Snapchat messages with some dating all the way back to four years ago till most recently, last six months, which were around the last time they had met up. There were flirting texts, sexting texts, and nudes interchanged, and I could even recognize some pictures of her taken from the mirror of our bathroom. I nearly lost it then and there. My eyes started watering, and I bunched up and tore her printed nudes, and it took everything I had to stay seated on my chair and not get up to jump the man in front of me. In the midst of my rage, he said something that shocked me to my core while he tried to calm me down. The reason why he approached me was because Jill had broken off with him after their last meetup. She told him that what they were doing was wrong and that she was trying to put her past behind her. Dave said that he would respect her decision and walk, except that she'd given him an STD, chlamydia, and cheated on him too. He believed that not only was she cheating on me with him, she was also cheating on the both of us with somebody else. With those last parting words, he left. That day, I sat still at that cafe for what felt like four hours till they closed shop. By the time I reached home, I realized that Jill had been bombing my phone, asking me where I'd been. As I walked into my house, Jill saw me and knew something was up. She tried talking to me, but I just brushed her off and went to the shower. All the while, my mind was thinking of Dave's parting words. For as long as I knew my wife, I thought I knew her as a person who was a bit of a germaphobe and paranoid. She told me that she was worried that she could have gotten pregnant before we were ready. So ever since we started sleeping together, we'd always use protection. The countless times that we'd slept together, we'd always use protection. Could it be that she knew she had gotten some STD and did not want me to find out? I wouldn't know. So after I cooled off from my shower, I sat her down and asked her if she had anything to tell me. The moment I spoke to her, she knew. That I knew. Or so I thought. After nearly an hour of beating around the bush, pretending like she didn't know what I was asking, I bluntly asked her if she'd been hiding something from me and she immediately started crying. It took me nearly half an hour from there to get her to drop a bomb on me. She told me that before we got married, she had already known that she was infertile, but she'd hid it from me because she was worried I'd leave her. Huh? I loved this one from the very bottom of my heart, and not only did she have an affair on me, and she hid even this from me. She knew how much I wanted kids, and for the past couple of months we've been trying. And she knew all along that a child was impossible? I had not expected this answer from her. In that instant, I was hit like a deer in headlights. And from that, I started to connect the dots. I swallowed up all that welled up anger, disappointment, confusion, ignored the part where she said she'd been lying to me about her being infertile, and asked her straight if she had ever cheated on me. I immediately added that I knew, and if she came clean then and there, we might have a hope of reconciliation. I was lying. Even till now, I do not know what I should do. From the ugly crying moments ago, she suddenly went silent. She stuttered a little, then asked me how I found out. I told her that it didn't matter how I found out. I just want the truth. Jill dropped her second bomb. She told me that almost a year ago in her company's business trip, a few months before mine, 
A few months after our wedding, she had gotten drunk with her counterpart coworker from another state, Mark, not real name, and might have slept with him, but she didn't know. Didn't know? It was nearly 3 a.m. in the morning then, and despite my last five hours of coercing the truth from her, she hadn't even gotten to the part where she admitted her affair with Dave. About 4 a.m. in the morning, I packed whatever it is I could carry. I honestly didn't know what I was dumping into my luggage. I just grabbed whatever was mine and filled it in, all while she was screaming at me to stop. I didn't care what my neighbors thought, and I drove an hour away to the nearest hotel for the night. At the same time, she was texting me nonstop and blowing up my phone with calls, but I really could not bring myself to read any of what she wrote nor talk to her. I called in sick for work the next day. Since then, I've moved to my brother's house to stay with him. I told him everything, and even he was shocked by everything. In fact, I don't think anyone who knew my wife could bring themselves to believe what my wife did. In front of everyone, she was that perfect, sweet, and loving wife. For the past week, I've been looking for a divorce lawyer to see my options. I couldn't believe how my life has crumbled before me. The perfect wife I thought I'd spend the rest of my life with had turned so alien that I could barely recognize her. The thing is, she'd been telling all her family and my parents, who lives two states away, about what she told me. That she had hid about her one-time mistake with her coworker, and the fact that she could not have a child because she was afraid she would lose me. She did not tell them about Dave. She does not know that I know. Since then, her parents and even her brother have been bombing my phone. Even my parents have been talking to me about forgiving her because they're the traditional white picket fence folks that do not agree in divorce and believe that a couple should struggle and work through anything in their relationship. I have still been holding off about telling them the full story about her affair with Dave because I couldn't really bring myself to. For the past years, since I've started dating Jill, they've grown to love her like their own. They'd often compare her to my older sister, who sadly passed 10 years ago, and often mentioned how she reminded them of her. How should I go about this? Is a divorce inevitable? Should I tell my parents the full story? I know this will break their heart. I think I will go with divorce for sure, but I hope, just hope, that folks here could give some advice or thoughts on the current situation. All right, let's get into some comments. Barsoom is real, what's yours? Why is reconciliation even on the radar here? Why are you even giving this a second thought? When you ask, should I tell my parents the whole story? You are really saying, should I still be protecting my wife and the image people have of her? And the answer is a resounding no. She is what she is. A lying cheater who will not even admit to her failings when your marriage is on the line. She made her choice. She is lying to you about her affairs. Notice the plural here, in the hopes that you are stupid enough to take her back. Don't be the guy that two years down the road comes back here moaning about how you should have listened and ended it when it happened. Yes, you should listen. Yes, you should end it. Yes, you should go on and live a better life. But no, you owe nothing to her now. Nothing. Tell the truth and move on. Rip 101's comment is this. Your wife's hiding multiple affairs and an STD behind her lie by omission regarding infertility. There's so many lawyers to your wife's deceit that you'll wind yourself up in knots trying to untie it all. I'm so sorry, but when you married her, you walked into a minefield and didn't even know it. Protect yourself, get tested, get some legal advice, and don't hold back if you feel that other people need to know. WTF the Canuck says, tell your family the truth. Tell her family the truth. Keep that meeting with your lawyer. Protect your money, resources, and rights. It is her that should be moved out. Ask your parents how much deceit and betrayal a man should take, and would they have put up with such things from each other? Get an STD test. Florida Owl chimes in, talk to your lawyer first of all. Information is power. Don't give away the surprise factor. Soldier on. They will know soon enough. Adam Kitten has some instructions. Do it in this order. 1. Doctor. Good news is, chlamydia is easily treatable with antibiotics. Some people get it and don't develop symptoms, so please don't skip the doctor. Be glad it's one of the ones you can get rid of. 2. Lawyer. You are free to consult more than one. You need to get familiar with divorce law in your locale. 3. Tell your family. Probably the brother you're staying with first, then your parents. I believe in the truth, but I know some people and cultures are allergic to the truth. Be prepared that they may either side with you, or they become angry with you and see you as an antagonist for wanting to bring out the ugly truth. People are unpredictable with crap like this. All parties involved here are adults, or should be. 
I see no reason to sugarcoat. Regardless of what they think, it's up to you to decide what's best for you. They don't get to dictate. This is your life and your future. Juiced9991 wanted to add in, You need to do damage control, otherwise your support group will believe her and whatever she tells them. You need to do this ASAP. Also, go get tested. Keep backups of the proof of the affair and maybe mail them to all the parties, parents, siblings, etc. If you don't do this, people will believe that you are the scum to leave an infertile woman, but in reality, you are blindsided. Stay no contact with her and her people. When she eventually finds you, keep proof, voice activated recorder, of everything she has done, because the last thing you want is to be falsely accused of something so worse that your reputation is gone. Cranach says, tell all of them that they don't even know the half of what she did, and if they want to know the whole thing, that they should ask her for Dave and the chlamydia. Tell them that they can ask you to think about divorce after they have heard the full thing from her. Regarding the divorce, would you have married her if you would have known that she was unfaithful before you married? Take that answer as the answer you need. When it comes to the decision if you want to divorce or not, go to a doctor and get tested for STDs. Better safe than sorry. You are worth so much more than how she treated you. And lastly, from Big Man Tumble. Let me emphasize this. You really, really do not want to stay married to this woman. She cannot tell you the truth, minimizes and omits details, hides her ability to conceive, cheats on you with multiple men, lies and lies and lies when given opportunities to come clean. She exposes you to STDs and sleeps like a baby next to you while she screws other people. Hide nothing from her family. Get into a safe position and file for divorce. No children, no reason to stay. She isn't magically going to change. You have seen her true side. This is her true side. Let me give you some wisdom that a friend who was cheated on once gave to me. Our partners often have a strong ability to manipulate our emotions, to twist things back on us, to make us feel bad for them. These breakdowns and sob stories and texts she is sending you, along with her family's harassment, is a ploy to control you into getting what she wants. She wants you back because she wants her cake, man, not because she cares about what she did. Look at her reasoning. She didn't want to tell you, lied to you, because she knew you wanted something she couldn't give. She traps you in a relationship on false pretenses, cheated on you repeatedly, schemes and sleeps with other men, lies about it when confronted. What do you get that's so great from this woman? Even if not having kids isn't a deal breaker for you, she still lied to you to manipulate you from having a clear choice in the first place. The relationship was a scam from the start, dude. Stonewall this woman. Don't lie to her family. Let them know exactly what she did and have the proof to back it up. Lawyer up, go no contact, and get a divorce so you can move on with your life. Thank you.